The time has come, my brothers. Soon the magic sphere will open its gates for those of you who today will set out for glory and wealth. Soon those names will be given. Of those who will go to the great Dragonland, the names will be immortalized in stone in the Hall of Fame, along with the names of the greatest who changed our history like the explosion of a star. Ayumi, it was to be expected. You are not one to obey the rules of the game, are you? I'm sorry, Guildmaster. But I will use the sphere now. Sitting and waiting is not my style. Ayumi! Well, you deserved it. I won't be stopping you. Lost. I made it. The legendary Dragonland. Dragonland. The dream of every treasure hunter in the world. I still can't believe I'm here. Assist me. I need to find my partner, Zero. That is of no importance to me. My duty here is to assist you in gaining power. What do you mean? I'm here to find the treasure of the Dragon Temple. If you know something relevant, you can assist me with that. Don't waste my time. I suggest you follow my guidance to survive. Now, that is my first gift to you. No need for gifts. I don't like to be in debt. What did you do? We are now connected and I shall guide you on your path. With my help, you shall be victorious. Tell me, what is it that you want from me? To complete the path. The ability I empowered you with enables you to gather the life force of the enemies you defeat. Bring them to my altars, and you shall be rewarded. Are you out of your mind? I don't need it. Take it back. My gifts do not force anything upon you. Now, go, and be careful. A great danger awaits you. Hey, wait! What about the danger? Excellent. This place is just like one of those places I saw in an old book about Dragonland. These chests once contained the great treasures of ancient civilizations. But where is it now? if I ran into a group of tourists here. Anything seems possible right now. It all depends 
and where it leads to, really. The path has no clear boundaries, and only the portals show the way. This portal is the only way for you. I'm not following. Is this somehow connected to the treasure of the Dragon Temple? The path is the treasure of Dragonland, and it ends in the Dragon Temple. This is where you will find your true essence of power. Prepare yourself, for it is time to start your challenge! Fancy seeing you again. Who are you? I am the spirit of the dragon. Thank you for setting me free. I'm deeply indebted to you. And what brings you here? I understand the reason why you are here, and that you'll be needing my assistance. I know this island. I can help you find what you are looking for. If that's the case, have you seen a well-built man somewhere? You must be referring to your partner, Zero. Yes, you know of him? I'm sorry. I just overheard you speaking about him to Alter. Eavesdropping on me? I don't think you can help me. Don't be too hasty. You wouldn't have been able to leave that cave alive without me. You were the one that saved me. What did you do? It will be... Easier for me to show you, rather than explaining it. So, would you like to open this portal? Um, sure. Let's give it a shot. Mm. everywhere. Ah, Ayumi, at last. Guildmaster, how did you manage to... There's no time, Ayumi. I might lose contact with you at any moment. Please, no questions, and just listen. I need to warn you. There hasn't been a single soul who has returned from Dragonland for a very, very long time. Far to the north exists another sphere at the Dragon Temple. It was used to go back and forth between the island and our world, but I believe something is currently interfering with it. You're kidding. Still, you've continued to send your best people here, luring them with the idea of treasure. Ayumi, Dragonland was never a safe place. Many treasure hunters never made it back, but the best ones always did, bringing lots and lots of gold with them. This is what I call natural selection, and Ayumi, I believe you have the potential to find the reasons behind all this. Guildmaster, what about Zero? My partner, is he here? Guildmaster! This is one hell of a mess I've got myself into. Treasure hunting? <laughs> I guess you have no idea. There is no treasure, girl. And why do you think I'd care? I might be stupid, but not that stupid. There's only one reason why we're all here, but guess what? There's nothing. Not even a sliver of gold, but I guess if you can't take it back, it's of no use anyway. That can't be. Then why is the guild so rich? Come on, stop playing dumb. Think about what they promised you about Dragonland. We searched everywhere, everywhere, but found nothing. But we do have a plan. We are repairing a ship so we can fly out of this damn island. You can stay with us and help out with the ship. Ship? You're gonna fly? Open your eyes. There are flying corals everywhere. They'll lift our ship into the air and we can get off this island. So you think it's that easy? We're in an entirely different world. 
Stop acting like you know everything about Dragonland. Besides, you just got here. I highly recommend that you stay with us. Thanks for the invite, but I don't trust strangers. I'm Michelle. And now that we are properly acquainted, you can accompany me to our base. People like you who wander the island cause trouble for us, who have a plan to survive. Ah, as you wish. Then I'll give you one friendly warning. Just stay off the northern part of the island. This is for the good of both you and me. You made me jump! I can be pretty intimidating, huh? Uh, are you Ayumi? Michelle told me you come. Anyway, my name is Vern. Uh, come on, I'll show you around. Is this your ship? I've heard the plan about using the corals. Hey, it's not just a plan. I don't know where this ship came from. But we'll repair it, load it with supplies, and peace out of this place. Seems like somebody's already tried that. When Michelle initially came up with this plan, it gave us all hope. We need to believe in it and not give up. Your nonsense about failure needs to cease. In any case, what are you capable of? You mean hammering nails or sawing planks? Uh, any help we can get, we'll take. But there's only one rule. The northern exit is off limits. Just don't go anywhere near it. I'm curious to know what's there. Everybody wants to know that, but there's nothing significant there. Whoever goes there never makes it back, and Michelle gets pissed off as well. Just be glad you found shelter, all right? Hey, Bert, can you lend me a hand? Gotta go. Make yourself at home. Don't move an inch! Who allowed you in here? Answer me! Don't even think about going near the gates! There's no other way out! What's going on here? <laughs> How predictable. Why did you close this path? There's another sphere out there. You can escape from this place. Is this true? Of course not, you fool! She doesn't know anything. Go back to your post and guard the portal. You can't stay here and hope for that wreckage of yours to fly someday. That's enough. Michelle! You know very well that your plan is flawed. Kill her! But, but what if... Kill her now! Several switches around here. You must find them all to activate the portal. I don't... Oh! Zero! What are you doing here? What am I doing? Uh, nothing. I'm frustrated that I can't leave, though. It makes me feel like an idiot. There is a way out. Another sphere. How do you know? The Guildmaster. He contacted me. I think it's a bad idea to trust that old monkey. So, are you gonna spend the rest of your life here? Mm, Michelle has a couple of loose screws for sure, but at least she's trying to do something. Something isn't gonna help, Zero. You can't leave Dragonland by normal means. She's manipulating everybody. That doesn't mean you can go around killing everyone. I heard you murdered people on that ship. That's weird. You don't understand. It was like a prison. I had no choice. You know, Ayumi, there are times when we have to make hard decisions because of the circumstances. We're all trapped here, caught like damn rabbits, and we can't afford to lose our heads. Plus, there are many things that we don't understand either. Michelle believes that activating the portal will kill everyone, and I don't want to risk dying. So then, are you here to stop me? I won't stop you. But I won't help you either. Do what you think is right. 
I'm gonna try and find another way. So this is where we go our separate ways then? We'll just have to see. Thou hast earned by activating the forbidden portal. We shall ourselves protect. Humankind can't not abide here henceforth. Lay down your arms. I do not oppose you. I need this portal to go to the Dragon Temple. And all? Our prohibition has now disdained. The portal is forbidden. Thou hast no right to enter our territory. Your territory? What does that mean? I don't have another option. We did not invite thee hither. The law of the land must be obeyed. Sure. Then I guess I'm gonna sit here and wait to die. More time is needed to help the humans. Now is not safe to free your time. You talk about safety. I have to go through that portal, and I will. Your words are meaningless. Thou art foolish as all mortals. Time meaneth nothing. But thou dost not understand. Indeed, thou art strong. But chaos shall reign if thou dost not leave the path. The more force thou receives, the more power it has over thee. It shall be harder to stop. Nothing can stop me. I'm determined to press on. These words I have heard before. They promise war and destruction. Come on, Ayumi. for you. I wonder if the portal will transport me to where I need to go. I don't think that there will be any problems. The portal was probably damaged by the sky guards in the human shelter. They have no access to it now. Ayumi, you have reached the sky islands and with such haste. My intuition was correct about you. I found some people. Yes. They assisted in blocking the portal, but the humans are merely pawns in this game, and their petty efforts are insignificant. How do you know all this? I occasionally have a vision from a sphere in the guild, and I acquired knowledge that the Sky Guards and the Chaos Vicar have agreed to a truce. This has taken me by surprise, for they have been fighting since the beginning of time. Ayumi. I have seen your friend in the vision as well. Vera? How's he getting on? The Sky Guards have taken him captive along with the others. Now you must act with haste while he is still alive, Ayumi. 
If I am correct, the Sky Guards and Chaos Vicar have not realized that you are a threat to them. What do you mean? Is that the ship I'm looking for? Yes, Zero is aboard that ship. Don't stop! Go! Ayumi, hurry! You must not reach the Dragon Temple. I need answers, Skyguard. Well, when the Chaos Keeper came to our world, there was a terrible war, and we retreated. The Keeper was spent. He fell into eternal slumber, rebuilding his strength. He appointed the Vicar in his absence. We knew that the Vicar craved power. In exchange for peace, we assisted him, ensuring the Keeper did not wait. Politics, even here. Doesn't really surprise me, though. But what about me and the other humans? Should anyone threaten to disturb the Chaos Keeper and awaken him, they shall be prevented, as the Keeper's return would be the end of our world. Too far with all this, Ayumi. The Vicar won't spare you, but it's a pity for him to lose such a warrior. He gave us the authority to make you a generous offer. Join the Vicar's forces, Ayumi. And if I don't, then what? Then we have the authority to exterminate you. How appealing. But you know, about that authority of yours... Do you know who I am? Of course. You're famous. The whole world knows of your good deeds. You're the Vicar. Servant of the Keeper, commander of the Chaos Horde, and the general who betrayed his master. Enough. You are strong, and you have walked a challenging path. But this is not your time. The Keeper waits to be awakened. You, his little pawn, will fulfill his wish. The only wishes that I fulfill are my own. So you think. A Keeper is not capable of affecting reality directly, but he can take a million different phases. I shall let you in on a little secret. That strange friend of yours is his manifestation as well. What? That's not true. The Keeper has monitored you through her on your travels, and given guidance to you on the path. He needs your power. That can't be. Deep down inside, you know that I am right. When the Keeper is finished with you, your companion will give you some strange advice. In fact, very strange, but being who you are, you will trust her, and that shall end your pathetic and significant life. I said he's a liar. Did you really think that I would believe you? How pitiful. You would easily get rid of her. That powerless creature cannot do anything. No! As you wish. I have killed every soul that has approached me here for eons. And I do not intend to stop now. this whole time. It doesn't matter. Ayumi killed the Vicar. I must let the Sky Guards know. I almost died because of you. I won't let you get in our way. You fool. Why don't you understand? The Sky Guards have been waiting for a chance to win back the Dragon Temple. If your friend over there reaches the temple first, she will awaken the Keeper. I don't give a damn. This is our chance to leave this hellhole. And I am not going to miss it. You're a real blockhead, aren't you? If the Keeper is awoken, 
Nobody can get away. Listen to me. He controls the spheres. You can't possibly be thinking that she'll kill him too, do you? That's the, uh, the general idea, yeah. The Keeper is immortal in this world. Ayumi is going to have us all killed. The only chance we had were the Sky Guards, and they can still get us out. This isn't going anywhere. Zero, you need to make a decision. Are you with me or not? We don't have much time. to the sphere. You! You have reached the end of the path, and behind these doors awaits your final challenge. Only you are to decide if you are ready to complete your path. Choose with care, for a single mistake will take your life. And the power you have will be transferred to another being. Be wise in your decisions. This is it. The answer. I completed the path for my own kind, and I didn't have the slightest idea. But what now? I'm not human. How can I return? Master, what are you doing here? You have served me well, Ayumi. Exceptionally well. Now it is a matter of time before the Sky Guards face their demise. What's the meaning of this? Where's the key? Now, what do you think? No, this can't be. You're the keeper. 
I was betrayed, Ayumi, and kept here. The only thing I could do was to wait for a dragon descendant to awaken me. The Treasure Hunters Guild was the ideal home for me to find the descendant. Both the Vicar and the Sky Guards understood this perfectly, but nevertheless they couldn't stop you. I seem to have made the right choice. You got what you wanted. Now let the people go. I cannot grant that wish. Moreover, I need you to complete our conquest of Dragonland. But there's no need for you to worry about that. I will reward you generously for your past and future achievements. what is to happen and what is not to happen in this world. Either you join me voluntarily, or I'll persuade you to. Who are you? This is how you should stand by my side when the Sky Islands fall. You will have the pure power of chaos. Do you wish to see it? Good. Let me show you how it works. that granted you power on the path of the dragon have been my prized possession for a long, long time. You are now drenched in chaos, and I have control over you. Your time has come, Ayumi. This human Ayumi has no future, but the dragon Ayumi does. If I cast my hand, I can take your powers, rendering you dead. You can become everything, or die in vain. Take your sword, and end your pathetic human self once and for all. You will be granted power, immortality, and the world shall kneel before you. You will lead my horde, we shall conquer all worlds. You will be my best warrior. The choice lies right before you. Side with me! Side with the Keeper of Chaos! You're right. It's an easy choice. She's okay. At least, she's human again. Yeah, I'm fine. I just had to kill myself, that's all. Let's get moving. We gotta go. I'm not gonna miss my chance to escape from here. So then, what's your plan? Don't look at me like that. Well, there's no plan. for us. But why? Why would he come for us? What is this? A nightmare? All right. Well, let's assume that every creature that comes out of the sphere is an enemy, unless it's human. Ew.
can't help him. It's over. 